Today I want to share with you one of the diseases that every goat, sheep, or even cattle farmer will experience once in their life. And that is what has happened to us here. And I want to bring to you guys because we've actually called a vet to come and we want to take you guys through the process, how we're treating that so that when it happens at your farm, you have the solution and the knowledge to also repeat the same steps that we use in curing our livestock. So if this is something that you're interested, then stay tuned as we go into details and discuss how to treat this particular disease. Welcome back guys. So as a farmer, you always want to, you know, prevent diseases and outbreak from happening at your farm. As the saying goes, prevention is definitely better than cure. But in some cases, it comes. And what do you have to do? We just need to be responsive enough to be able to solve it. Today, I want to walk you guys through a disease called abscess that has happened to two of our foreign goats. Um, I think a savanna and a boa goat. And we've called it veterinary. But let me give you a bit of description of how it looks like. So it basically, it's like a ball that grows in their skin. I think this is the second time we've had it and the first one has always been around their neck right so it's a ball it can grow as big as this size and you're going to see it it's something that is very visible and these are things that you should always be watching out for from your livestock so we have i think both of them it has grown on their neck and this is becoming bigger. So we've called a vet to come and see. He needs to check whether, you know, it contains liquid or not, um, but I'm sure he will need to cut it um, to be able to heal them. Um, and he's coming. So I want to keep you guys informed and let's wait for him. As he comes, we're going to take you guys through the process on how we are preventing it. As I said in the beginning, this disease can happen to anybody. It's caused by a bacteria and, you know, in case it happens to you, you have a solution for it. So let's head to the farm and speak to this vet and learn how he's treating it so that you guys can have the information to yourself as well. Uh, my name is Stephen Alton. I'm animal health officer. Uh, a farmer complained to me that the animal is having some Problem. So when I came and checked, it was abscess. And this abscess, you need surgical remover. Uh -huh. So you have to remove it by surgery. So and you see me cutting the animal, is nothing. I just want to remove that particular thing from the it's abscess. And this abscess is like, the food is like condensed milk. Uh -huh. So even you can give it injection, but it will no go. So you have to open and then remove the food from there. So that's what you see me removing it from there. You know, anything can happen at any time. So, so far as animals, and here today are plenty. So when they are fighting, one can use their horn to punch at the other or bacteria can cause it. Mm -hmm. So even if you are doing injection and you didn't take care, it can cause this abscess. The, this condition, I have noticed one. That one, the animal struggle and the thing itself come out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it can come out, but it's not all that. Mm -hmm. And then if it stay there, it can lead the animal to death, it can kill the animal. Well, the one that is having to, that one is dangerous. Well, both sides are uh, having the abscess. You know, uh, even human beings, they will call in tree, they will say, pom 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 pom. It's not easy. Even if small pimples at your for uh, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So, you have to remove it so that the animal will be free. I hope you guys learned one or two things from the vet. I did as well and enjoy really observing him. One point though that I want to make is that this disease is very transmissive and therefore if it happens at your farm, make sure that you're doing this at an isolation center or you're covering the ground in which you're processing or healing this animal. And then after that, remove your gloves, clean up and throw everything outside the farm or either burn it. If you also have an isolation center, the best way is to separate um, the infected animals and treat them. 
at this point you're just treating a wound so some iodine will help antibiotics if you have it and then that's it I, it should be able to heal and we'll bring you an update we've treated this before and it just left a scar but it was well treated nothing happened to to, to that that livestock that we treated i think it was about six months ago right um so i guess you guys find this video useful let me know in the comment below if you have any suggestions if you've done this before or if this is totally new to you and thank you so much for sticking around we'll see you again